Good afternoon. I'm Kilimid. This is another edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode. This is going to be gaming live stream walkthrough episode number 6. In the previous stream, you, Franklin, Michael, and Trevor are in bed with the FIB, which of course is the fictionalized version of the FBI, and they recently had to do a robbery that involved some stealing some action, some document, which brought them to a guy named Devin Weston, and Devin Weston is a billionaire inventor venture capitalist and he is shady as they come so he had recently informed Michael that he can put him in touch with a guy named Solomon Richards who is a way past his prime aging movie producer and also Franklin the opportunity of uh, doing some auto high quality auto scores for Devin Weston, in which he claims to pay them handsomely in return, but <laughs> as we'll probably find out that not everything is what it seems. So this is going to be about a three hour stream, so grab a snack, grab a drink, grab whatever. It's time for Let's Play Classic featuring Grand Theft Auto 5 Story Mode on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Here we go. First, I got to get out of our line. This was from the previous stream with the Chop Shop DLC, so let me get out of this. We're just going to go into story mode because when I boot up, it'll automatically go to online. So let me take care of this. Nah, it ain't right. I ain't doing it. Make sure this is on full screen. So we're off to go see uh, Solomon Richards. Who is this big time movie producer who produces a lot of schlock, schlock type films? Because since Michael is the person who's a fan of of Vinewood Cinema. He's a connoisseur of Vinewood Cinema, apart from being a retired, washed up bank robber hiding in witness protection. Well, he's about to meet Solomon. Solomon Richards. I think he's kind of inspired of Mel Brooks or whatever. Because a lot of these fictitious characters in the GTA universe are inspired possibly by real people. And since this is 
it's the fact that everything's going digital, especially when it comes to filmmaking. No shit. That's what kind of the story element is with this mission. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. <laughs> he said you were retiring, but might need some help on a movie. Retiring. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. <laughs> Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero <laughs> talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> I'm gonna take a different car. This one. Normally, he ends up having to smash the window to steal the car, or unless you're like Franklin, he uses a slim gym. Traffic violations you can commit in GTA. But you run over pedestrians and the nine witness or the police are coming out. Hey Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now I realized in my excitement I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Just 
took out a truck like Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. <laughs> it's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we God, nearly got the club, we're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. As a match is heavy. <laughs> kind of like what Eddie Nash did, or had, was known for doing, hiring somebody to burn down his nightclub so he could collect on oh, the insurance. What was that? I think you're lost, buddy. You can't be here. Guess you didn't see me. Nope. I guess you didn't see this either. Uh, whatever. Now get out of here. It might be too high to notice, but this roof will come down on their heads. Yeah, it's still a death trap. to notice but this roof will come down on their heads yeah it's still a death trap Jesus Christ. 
Christ, it's hot in here. That is gonna be one sweaty ass club. Jesus Christ, it's hot in here. That is gonna be one sweaty ass club. Jesus Christ, it's hot in here. That is gonna be one. Trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. Oh, who's this? <laughs> who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> There's a real physicality to him. This isn't gonna change anything! All right, spray tan. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay? Sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. Just ho hold on. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talon, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talon? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Finally, you come to your senses. I'll take you to the studio. He's like, okay, 
I'm doing a shitty movie. I'm a shitty hey, movie. Hey, Milton, watch. I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be in pain? No, he should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. <laughs> you're kidding me, right? I am an artist, dude. I'm you're apologizing. When you see Solomon, you say, Sorry for the misunderstanding, sir. And you will always, always appreciate the opportunity he's given you. Look, I just wanted a better deal. Everyone wants a better deal. Everyone's serving coffee, selling cars, typing in spreadsheets wants a better deal. But you got the best deal there is. You're making movies. Yeah, you look at it that way. And then you got a huge tax bill and payments to meet in a beachside bungalow with Chumash. Shut up! You're what? <laughs> Remember that. I didn't have the opportunities you had. I give my left arm to do what you do. You're making a movie. Now, where am I putting this thing down? When Devin Weston came to do a studio visit, he used the empty water tank. All right, then we'll do the same. Put it there. The water tank turned parking lot. Setting it down. I know Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? Wonderful <laughs> surprise. Anton, my boy. You're an artist, I know that. And this hey, story yeah. is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love you. So, Solomon, Milton bad. here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. You can actually uh, watch virtual entertainment I, I just, in this just game. want to say that what if it's going I'm to sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. The and I, the Oriental theater. I appreciate Which in real all life the opportunities the that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, or what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Uh, you're too kind. Shit. No, no, I mean, I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Midlife Crisis. I guess we're about to do the Devil Bridge but I can switch out of characters. I guess I'm gonna switch to uh, Trevor. Of all people. Can't believe it's the weekend again. I heard it was named after something called the Spearman Rhino. I guess.
guess we'll do the Devin Richards. Actually, let me get the car. We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some this wealthy is, communists in China who will question. value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course, you must be the creepy one. And that's coming from you? Please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh you... Finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose! Now, are you gonna do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Ocelot F620 is the Jaguar. It's a Jaguar. Some people say cool, but it's cool bay. The 
have some calm, like some trust feelings that according to Devin Hester's he just very strong just like this. Because he thinks that just because he's the billionaire, he can do whatever that he says what he wants. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. So the premise, the idea, the setup is is that Franklin is going to be trying to challenge the two trust funders to a snake race, to a highway race, to test their uh, supposed prowess while Michael and Trevor are posing as police officers, highway patrolmen, to pull the boys over and steal their rides that way. Telling you 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck is hey, How about seven? we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. Ooh, Ooh the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Oh.
coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. Will be rewarded. Stay with them. How you do it, T? We gotta hang in there. They'll stop eventually. Let's do this! Let's get them! As we can keep with them, we'll pull this off. Coming up on Bleedo Bay. We might gain some ground on them. They all have driven around the whole of southern San Andreas before they stop. Stop 
They're slowing down. This looks like our shot. Good. My ass is dead. Stay in the car there, homeboy. I'll deal with you later. Yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> Role play. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. Entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! <laughs> yes? I know that voice. You're that Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Devin Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Ah, oh, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South L.S. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Don't hang up. I, uh, I think I love you. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South LS. So that's where I'll be waiting. See about that. I vote we indulge his childish need to play. Besides, it's his head on the block if they get scratched. We're swapping insurance details. Oh, it's lonely at the front of the pack, boys. Hey, Frank. Yeah, what did I tell oh, you, bro? Fantastic. These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I mentioned about Jim Jones and his race. Race. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, it's gonna be right back where I'll be at anyway. <laughs> I can still take you. You believe that? Take this. Fine. Gee, I hope so, cause I'm in charge of this shit, and I will dock your pay. 
The stains on the seats were here when I got in. Oh, come on, team man, please. Yeah, troubles are big. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper. <laughs> Not so fucking lootly. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's Let's only two. It. Just give me the... Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Uh. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Stay spiritual. I hope he believes in an afterlife. <laughs>
save the game. Another turd chop? Oh, I gotta school your ass. There's an app called the iFruit app where you can actually train chop. So not only you can stop them from defecating everywhere, but you can actually teach them tricks so that you can become more obedient. And you can even change out this color. Like in the app, you change uh, chop's color to a different color. It's going to, in real life, it's going to interact with the game, in the in-game version of Chop. His color is actually going to be custom, so it won't feel the same in the game as it would be in, as it would in the app. Just in the house. Now, of course, Franklin got this house because of doing that little favor for Lester where you take out corporate CEOs in the form of corporate uh, what do you call it corporate assassinations in favor of rigging the stock market so once you accumulate enough money I can continue on with the other CEO hits so when the stock goes up in real time in the game you can cash out and make about twice as much money of what you put in. Let's have a little wine. Cars is in the unparalleled. Are you gonna pay money to get out of the In GTA Online, if your car gets in the you do have the option of not paying the unparalleled unparalleled charge to get the car out. Instead, you can steal it straight away and then ditch the cops. So you don't have to pay the buy a property in GTA uh, where the property would make you a good land for example Franklin can buy this club which of course is Property. 
you got me, homie. All right. You know how to work that face recognition shit already? Well, figure it out. Okay, booting up. You can use the stick to move the camera. Zoom in and out. It'll pick up pedestrians carrying the 2012 SA State License. If you target them, the scanner accesses the database and pulls their record. Hey, let's see if we can scan my buddy. This is actually scary. Stay with him. 
Suspects on foot. Okay, I see the chop. I ain't far away. Hey, rise and shine! Huh? Oh, man! Walking appears to be accessing a small garage. <clears throat> all right, all right, this is it. I'm gonna get the call. Hey, motherfucker. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. What happened? Hey, look, just stay on him, man, and let me know where he is. See you, time. Car going north on El Rancho. Woo, woo, woo. All units be advised. We have a possible joyrider heading west on Howick in a black Z type. Hey man, you get another cop on this shit? Nah, homie. I'd appreciate the authenticity. Oh, okay. Well, I fucking don't. <laughs>
like a man leaning against a car to my left. I'm on it. Trevor Phillips. I know you think this car... Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours, man! My baby... No, no, my baby... Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. Uh -oh. So, uh, the old hanging chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit! And I spared this motherfucker. Attention, We've got a 503 off Del Perro. Vehicles have Mr. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's yours, man. Enjoy! I mean, that car's a bit flashy for my taste. Just take it and chill out. Be mellow. Relax. I'm just gonna get out of your way. Be quiet. You gotta shut up. Don't get up. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? 
We're just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars. Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dog, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. So, uh, the old hanging Chad has only gone and reported that car stolen. Shit, and I spared this motherfucker. Go easy on the... I guess I'll shoot Chad now. Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! Sorry. I had to ice him so he doesn't snitch to the cops. Sorry. Hey, I'm delivering the ride to Los Santos International. Hey, is the lady gonna be there? Or just a dick who ain't paying us till we get all the cars? Shit, I think they both gonna be there, dawg. Devin and Molly. Say hello from me to Molly. Man, I ain't hitting on nobody for you, man. Least of all, her. Come on, why not? It's about time I settled down. Shit, man, you need like a lion tamer or some shit. This girl, man, she got balls, dawg, but she needs some serious stones to handle your ass. Just say hello. <laughs> man, I ain't gonna be a part of that. After everything I've done for you, ah, you are just like Michael. Look my ice chair. He's in the cops after me now. This car is worth ten billion. Possibly the same manufacturer as uh, that of the Bugatti. So far, not a scratch.
good jogging. You gotta work on my body. Can't be all brave, right? Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there she is. <laughs> You know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow. <laughs> you one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, 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 don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh, man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. <laughs> before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go. So we're in the last hour of this stream. Oh man, I feel like crap. Yeah, hello. You know you're right, huh? I'm saying that. It's time I told you who your father was. Taking a ride, what you gonna do, sucker? Move the top go down to you. Oh my tore down and had to pay back. 
get that guy. Oh, get out the fucking way. Oh, sorry. I'm also doing it big. Uh, I spent quite a drug smuggling for a Mexican cartel boss. Ambassador. Kill you! No, you disgust me. Enough of you. There's the bastard. In red. Get that son. Okay, we got arrested. Busted. out in a blaze of glory. And they take some of your money. Yeah, just $300. I better have my gun. Oh, yep, I have my guns. They just took my ammunition. What? Oh, they leave my guns, but they take my, but they take my ammo. What? Watch this. Fuck this crap! <laughs> what Let's is do. this bullshit? Fair change for 114 kittens. Oh, <laughs> God damn it! What is this shit? <laughs> no bullets. I need to go to ammunition. They took my bullets! It took my sticky bombs too! Oh, I'm trying to warn this at a cop and you end up going to jail anyway. Bullshit! <laughs> Fuck this crap! 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 Fuck this crap!
Then I'm gonna make this somebody still in a cop's car. How's that? Personally, in a cop in real life, you'll get you're looking at prison time. That was probably 15 to 20 years. Maybe the light sentence, maybe 10. I'm gonna stop that ammunition now since they took my bullets. Damn, this controller. Just in time, friend. World's about to go to shit. Had a pregnant lady buy a flamethrower from me earlier. <laughs> I had to spend money to get my All your post-apocalyptic needs under one roof. They, uh, it'll be dead before it hears the shot. Now, I give deals if you buy in bulk. Now, that one's nice, huh? Right? Oh, I'll give you a good deal on that. That's good for killing gophers. I'm getting destitute here.
Now that is quality right there. That much for a suppressor, are you kidding me? I don't keep a record of purchases. in the Madras old house. this showing up in a cop's car with a cop car. What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The yes. truth. Martin <laughs> is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, uh, some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Uh, by you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. 
we'll let you know. And when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's up, pay? Huh? Trevor, come on. You still want to drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! Hey, and let's stay in touch on the headsets. Okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. Understood. Watch out. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree <laughs> to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck?
All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. I don't even see the plane. There it is. Out past downtown. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. That'll go down next time. I got her. Southwest of the city. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the shoot. speed of the j shoot the turbine. Give me a second. Now for the other turbine. Ah, gotta take another shot. Didn't do it. Can't stop it. Ha! Not good enough. There it is. Out past downtown. Jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. Three hits. Ah, shit! Let's control it, man. That'll go down next time. Give me a second. Ah, gotta take another shot. I got her. Southwest of the city. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. Nope. That didn't do it. Ha! Not good enough. That'll go down next time.
There it is. Out past downtown. The jet... Give me a second. Ugh, gotta take another shot. Nope. That didn't do it. Good enough. It's done. Failed it. I got her. Southwest of the city. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. down next time. Give me a second. Ah, gotta take another shot. Out past downtown. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. Nope. That didn't do it. Ah, not good enough. Go down next time. I got her. Southwest of the city. Give me a second. Give me a second. Ah, gotta take another shot. Didn't do it. Ha, not good enough. There it is. Out past downtown. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. Yeah, we finally got it. Hey, 
Hey, you see it? The plane's coming down. Can you stay with it? It down. Can you make the Alamo Sea airfield? Can't pull it around. Gonna have to put it down in a field somewhere. How you doing out there? We still got him? I'm on him! He's past the airfield! Landing ain't gonna be pretty! Can't go around the train! Gotta go over it! Roger, November 9 and Charlie Echo. Have you lost your manual flight control system? Pull your flags. We're pretty much... Run! You better be working! Okay, this guy's going down any minute. Good. Let's hope you don't take out some poor farmer while he's at it. Only thing they farm out here is methamphetamine. Bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road.
I'm an important guy. You gotta help me out. Call the cops. Come to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk.
What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ugh. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. What Get the out. fuck? Ah! Oh no! Fucking way. the last five minutes of the screen. Oh, look at that. <laughs> What? Trevor! Trevor! Ugh. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Hi, I'd like to order a cab, please. Sorry. All the drivers are busy right now. Uh, please call... Sonora Desert. All right, let's hit the road. Hey, we're here. Where is he? happened why did he have his car Man, that piece of turd huh no wonder people are stabbing him in the back what happened cheap bastard you know i really don't know why you mess around with people like that mike i mean really i Trevor! don't that's a fucking question i asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work then he kind of got a little angry so i admit i kind of got a little angry did you kill him what kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. 
Ah, uh, unfortunately, I think that we're gonna have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Good job. Get on in here. Come on. And that's going to do it for this edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Grand Theft Auto V Story Mode. I'll be back with more of Let's Play in about a few hours for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Right here on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Take care. Stay safe. Thank you.